Hi you guys, welcome to my channel. So today I wanted to do something fun and record a nail tutorial. I mean, I'm no nail expert and it was pretty hard for me to do this, but it was fun and so I wanted to bring some different type of beauty videos and I said, why not nails? So today's video is inspired by St. Patty's Day. It's coming up next week, Thursday the 17th and so I thought, I do something fun and festive. I know where I live, St. Patty's Day is a big deal, there's a big parade, and I thought everyone should get involved and have a little bit of fun. So I will leave all of the products that I used in the description box below. The light green color that I use to paint my nails is from Sinful, and that color is called Chalk It Up. The white color is Wet and Wild, and that is called French white cream and the darker green color that I'm going to use is called exotic green and that's also by Sinful. So when you're going to do the clovers, my advice when I was doing mine was to start at the base of the clover and what you're going to do is you're going to make a V shape at the base and then right above that V shape, you're going to make another V. If you look at any pictures of clovers, they have a heart-like shape, and so for me, it was easiest to do a double V, one to be the base and one to be towards the top, and then to connect those lines from the top and the bottom of the V, and you get your heart shape. And then you're just gonna fill that in as you go along. With filling it in also, I say you just drop a good pea size, well not pea size, that would probably be too big, but a good drop of the green color polish, whatever you are using in the middle, and then just uh, spread it towards the tops of the leaves. And you're just gonna fill it in, fill it in, fill it in. So you're gonna do things similar but slightly different when you do the four leaf clover. Uh, for the three leaf clover, obviously you're doing less clover, so it can be a little bigger when you're putting your V's down. But with the four leaf, you wanna make your V's just a bit smaller, so that way you can do all four leaves if you choose to do four. Another thing that I would say is my stems I feel were a bit long, so I would suggest you just making your stems a little bit smaller. When doing your plaid, I would say do it when you're not all shaky and jittery. I was pretty shaky doing this. For one, I'm not left-handed, and two, it was just, I don't know. Later in the day, I was feeling a little like anxious and frustrated and I just wanted to get it done. But if you are patient and take your time, you can make your lines a lot thinner than mine and a lot neater, but I'm not mad at the job I did. To give the clovers definition, you're going to go back into the light green color, the chalk it up or whatever color you have, and you're going to just draw a small little dot or line, I guess, I call it more of a line, in each of the petals of the clovers, just to give it more of a bit of a pop artifact, and also a little line on the stem, not all the way through the length of the stem, but just a little small faint line. And then you're gonna throw in a little dot in the middle if you want to, like I did. Because the clovers have, like within one clover, there's two scallop shapes, you're going to put just a slight little green line in that section. Uh, I hope that kind of makes sense. When you get towards the end of the video, you'll see the nails a little bit closer and understand what I'm saying. But you're gonna put that closer towards the base. All right, you guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, it was just something fun that I wanted to do to have a different type of beauty segment on and show you some different things. If you do any fun little nails, um, you know let me know you can like I don't know maybe hashtag my name on Instagram FYI 
I am on Instagram, so go to my homepage and hit the Instagram icon and follow me so you can see what other nonsense I do with my day. But thank you so much for watching.